Uh oh. Have you heard about Matthew Stafford's wife? Oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah, that was cold blooded. What is your What is your take on this? Because it, 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 here's what it, I want to say. She didn't say she slept with him, and my I don't believe. Yeah, but she I, didn't say that. She said date. I believe everybody's assuming that's what she's saying. So I believe we all say that's what she's saying and all that. Either right. way, though, to put it out public after you've been married with a bunch of kids and you know damn well, Sean. Matthew Stafford worth about 200 mil. He, he, he loses half of that off the rip if he says, get out of here, you, you lying, whatever. So he's in a pickle bag. I'm just telling you right now. What's your take on this whole thing? Well, number one, Stafford's got to find his wife a passion, whether it be clothes, makeup, <laughs> shoes. He's Obviously, she's to the point she's tired of just being Matthew Stafford's wife. Like, to me, this screams, I'm seeking attention. Okay, I've supported you for... How many years? Like, it's time for me to kind of live out some of the things I sacrificed. So from a relationship standpoint, that's what I would advise Matthew. Whether Whatever it is, like, you need to go get her her own LLC, give mm. her all the backing she needs, and get her going down that road. Because obviously this other road, she a little fatigued on being on it. At the same time, like, you hate for her to say that as her significant other. But if we keeping it a buck, Smitty was just talking – game, if I'm going to get game to all of you out there, it's very few women that get through the four-year collegiate process and don't catch a couple bodies. So I'm just... <laughs> Keep it real, Sean. I Thank mean, you. The truth don't have emotions. I mean, we're talking a lot of late-night parties. We're talking a lot of the introduction to alcohol for some, the introduction to, you know, pills, drugs for others. I mean, so don't be delusional and think like that if she went to college for four years and she don't got a couple bad nights on her resume. Thank you, Sean. Thank Listen, two things can be true. She she, she shouldn't have said this out loud publicly because there's no win in that. You know it's going to only put backlash and embarrassment to your husband, so she shouldn't have said it. But at the same time, no, it's not that big of a deal because of exactly what Sean just said. We're all college athletes. We know what happens in college. We ain't got to out here and draw a picture for you. We know what goes down. I got so many, as soon as you say that, so many stories just stored in my head of things that I know and girls I know who are now doctors and teachers and yeah. they're married. And it's kind of funny. I'm like, damn, this girl married. She got kids. Her dude have no idea what she was doing in 2012. But that, that don't matter. It's all about growth. It's all about getting better. So I, I don't, I'm not tripping over the fact that she dated somebody else. When I first saw the headline, they made it seem like one that she said, I, slept with this guy now listen did she probably do it probably so but she didn't say that so number one man number can two, we listen to it i can thought she cheated I, she meant, I thought they said like she cheated on bro i don't think that i think she, her and matt was talking in college playing the game back and forth she ended up ma dating the backup with the hopes that matt would be like damn okay and would get jealous which he obviously did and it ended up working that's some regular college shit. That ain't. That's not a big deal to me. Hey, Smitty, let's let's listen to it because I think no, a lot of people don't know what's happening. And yeah, so let's hear it out, Bailey. Let's like listen. Is he trying to casually date, and you were all oh, in? Oh yeah, girl. Anyways, long story short, it wasn't that cute of a relationship at first. I hated oh. him. I loved him. I dated the backup to piss him off, which oh, worked. Oh, yes. He was like, that'll do it. He was the bad boy too. Like Matthew's so sweet and southern gentleman and all yeah. that stuff. And the the backup was. The complete opposite. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and it it upset him. So they lived in the same dorm because athletes lived in the same dorm, and he would see my car there. And so at one point, he like waited and fought and followed me out and got in my car and wouldn't get out. Yeah. And he was You're like, like, "This is so hot." I was like, "This is amazing." <laughs> yeah. I was get out of my car, and he was like, "I don't. He's not right for you." And I was like, "Who? What? You can't tell me that." Wow. Hey, Sean, here's my point. She's talking too much. I will say that. <laughs> so, that just negated Smitty's take, in my opinion. Because, like, here's the reason why I say it. If the if the, rever if the roles were reversed, let's keep it real. If, if Matthew Stafford went out there and was talking about banging all these hood rats and parties and shit, come on. Matthew, you got kids. Your kids now will see this forever. You're a horrible man, horrible human being. But a broad goes and does it. And she getting passes like a motherfucker. They throwing her to pass like Magic Johnson today. They giving her so many goddamn passes. And I'm like, hold on. So she can say it and not disrespect the family or the kids. But if a man did it, it would be a whole nother day, a whole nother ball game. 
I'm just saying this. Whatever happened, whether you were together or not, you now have, what do they got? Six kids or some shit? Yeah, they you now got a bunch of kids and you're married to this guy. And let's be honest, if you got to do what Sean started the show off with and saying, go get a hobby, then she just seeks bad attention. She's because seeking it, attention. But, but Sean, it, it, you work a hundred million. You, you can't stay at home and just be quiet. I'm not saying hey, go be be cooking and all this. Hey, exactly. shit. He's still a human though, JB. She's still yeah, like a human. I'm not going to sit home. their whole life. 80, so you, 90, so you're sitting you, here not doing cool. nothing. You're cool if your wife went out on a podcast tomorrow and, and said oh, that. Hell, my wife ain't doing that. She knows she hell, ain't doing that. Oh, but hold on, though. You said it's okay is what my uh, question to you is. Oh, hold on, hold on, Sean. Sean, I'm glad you're on the show right now because this happens often. Did I say it's okay for what she just said? Did I say it was okay? No, he did. He said that if you think that women that went to college don't have a couple bodies, then you're being naive. That's how I took what Smitty said. But hold on. Hold on, JB. It's amazing how people can watch something and come away with completely different takes. Yeah. How big of a simp is Matthew Stafford? That's what I'm saying. Both ways. She basically, she basically was saying Stafford was this good boy. Like, he was boring. I had to go date the bad boy on the team. And then the part that everybody's overlooking, how Stafford don't back go to homie like that? He's going to sit in the car. And, and say he not good for you. Like Stafford, where, where is that in the rule book? That's your teammate, Sean. That's your brother. Lot. She unfolded a lot of shit, Come is my on, point. Sean, they in the QB room laundry. together. But she, she dared to earn the dirty laundry, is my whole point. It don't even matter about what we know she did in college. Let's let's keep that too. Oh, she definitely. Loose lip sync ships. Loose lip loose let, let, Let's sink keep sinks. that. To, now, so you can't tell me, Sean, you wake up this morning with Matthew Stafford and be like, what did she do to this motherfucker? What did this redheaded motherfucker do with my wife? Like, this motherfucker now has all that. Now I'm fucked. Now, Sean, the, the Rams are fucked this year, man. My pick is done, man. Hey, hey, shout out to Stafford because he, he a bigger man than me. Because anybody I dated in college, if you mess with one of the homies, you was in a whole nother category. A whole nother and, category, and it, Sean. It was, no, like, it was no more coming back from now. It was different it was category. You don't leave it at that. Now, to all you fellas out there, what, what Matthew Stafford did is a simp move. When she leave you, you don't go run to her car and say you're not going to get out. And then you tell, your, you tell your ex he ain't for you. Like, that's some get knocked out type of My boy was in a crowd right and he said, I'm not leaving this car till I got yeah. an answer. Yeah, that's crazy. You hey, I tell, me right now, tell me you leaving him right now. I'm not getting out this car. But ladies, but ladies, Matthew Stafford is a very, very small, small percentage of blue-blooded men out here in America. If you go and cheat on one of most of them with their friend, you're dead as far as like future relationship. Hey, Smitty, you, you imagine like I come out to the car and I'm like simping and, and I'm like, I smell but dusty like a motherfucker. I smell dick all on your breath. I, like, what the fuck are we talking about here? Anyway, Sean. Uh, we now, that was in college. Ma Stafford has grown, I'm assuming. He's more mature and the changes have happened, y'all. I know Stafford's one of JB's favorite guys and favorite quarterback. Did Stafford, did Stafford lose some points with you uh, with this whole thing, JB? Be honest. Yes. So, no, JB, I'm not going to let you do that because the one thing is men that we cannot allow to happen on this show. You've mm. got to be able to separate the athlete from the person. Oh, I do all the time. It's really and and, and I, I, I really challenge uh, people that watch the show that are in the comments, listen, stop liking an athlete because you like them as a person and stop disliking an athlete because you dislike them as a person. When you're talking Sean, about I what they do in sport, keep that separate. Sean, you know? I'm the – I'm the Smitty will tell you, I, I broke – I don't care if you don't like Kobe Bryant. You don't know him personally. I don't know him personally. So whatever beef you think he had with Shaq has no bearing on what he did on the court. I don't okay. care about that charge that he fought and had to beat. I care that he won. Glad. But also, I don't judge him because I don't know him. A lot of people judge these cats as if they are boys with them. And I say that on this show every day. Hell no. Nah, I don't know that cat. He's the best player to me. I don't care if he's a bad human being. I do care, but guess what? It's not my right to judge the cat, and I'm only going to talk about what he did. Tyreek Hill, we know what he's done in public and in his character. We got all these different people out there, but at the end of the day, he's a baller. They're ballers. We're going to separate the two. I'm with you on that 100%. And, and JB, I'm talking about legal stuff. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Tyreek Tyreek Hill, if you if you don't like womanizers and you look at him as a womanizer, that got no impact on what he is no. as a wide receiver. Smith, hey, not talking about, yeah, we're not like talking Russell, about somebody go ahead and kill somebody or something. We're talking about mm -hmm. like they they're Republican and you don't like Republicans, or yeah, you know, yeah, they're yeah. Christian and you don't like yeah. Christians. Like I'm talking about let athletes be whoever they want to be in their personal lives as long as it's legal. Sean, I'm I even say like I I listen, I bumps R. Kelly right now. Listen. I separate the music from what he is. I get it. A lot of people are like, I don't listen to R. Kelly no more. Listen, whatever he did, he did. I don't care. I'm still going to bump R. Kelly at night. I'm going to bump Michael Jackson, regardless of what you think about him. I'm going to bump Bobby Brown. I'm going to bump all these different people that we're... Now, I never... I'm the same never... way because there's so many secrets in people's lives. Like, you can't take that approach because you don't really know. Like, you don't know what Van Halen was doing if you ended yeah, up. Yeah, there's so many you know? guys people like. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you two motherfuckers done in the past, but we on this show together right now, so it's what it is. Hey, now, Sean, I never – no Diddy. I never did bump Diddy. Right. But anyway, let's dive into – uh you let's know dive Diddy, into, though. No way. I like, yeah, I like Big. Let's dive His into – artists uh, got good music. Diddy does, don't. But, but Diddy voice was in the background, though. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> take that, take that. Y'all was listening in the background. <laughs> hey, listen. Go ahead, JV. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, man, I'm with you on that because I do that with every genre, not just athletes. I do a rapper, singers, whatever. I separate the two. Uh, I'm with you on that. I, what The question Smitty asked me, did, did, did I lose a little feeling as far as hierarchy for Matthew Stafford as a character, not as a player? Matthew yeah. Stafford's a ball spinner. I believe Matthew Stafford is going to still ball. I'm just yeah. saying, like, am I looking at him different? Am I, am I big book of things? Like, ah, I don't know him. Not my homie. But at the same time, balling-wise, no, nah, I never changed. I'm a Matthew Stafford guy. And uh, I get what you're saying, JB, because it does hurt a little bit. The know yeah, that the man, saying, John, is a man. It's a simp. Like, for us real ones out here, that's, like, one of the most simplest things you could ever do, man. The woman said he went after I left. Said teammates dorm, he went to my car and wouldn't get out and said, he's not for you. Like, come on, man, fellas, if y'all out here, that is not in the game rule book, and that'll get you ostracized from any male group of friends out there. Like, you'd be done to me. Like, that brought is done to me. You're done to me. And the homie, and the homie, if he finds he out, he might just be finding out about it. Like, Stafford, you dead to me, too. Let's get the homie on the show. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be on the show next week, but if I am, we gotta get the homie back on the show, JB. For that real. gotta happen. And oh, after all, what he thought, because he obviously, if he good enough to go to Georgia, he probably thought he was better than Stafford anyway. Because <laughs> you don't get to that level without having a, a extreme self confidence. I mean, that had to just be like, hey, really? I'm looking at Stafford right now, and I'm like. You let Opie hit your girl? You like, know this, but you, you can look at his face. You know he was clown like a motherfucker at the frat party. He taking down 15 beers, calling chicks all types of crazy shit, hey, we, smoking hey, squares. And we, hey, 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 we had a rule in, in the clique. It's not about getting the booty. It's about being the same man you were if or after you get the booty. Mm. So yeah. it's, not about, it's about the way you went about it. Like no sucker stuff, no simping. Like, keep everything 10 toes down. We never beefing over no gals. Like, Stafford, if you listening, that was the biggest simp move in history. Yeah, and I and I think he coaches now, this redhead. I think he coached with Lane at Ole Miss, if I'm not mistaken. If he does, I know I know Lane and I know a couple guys on that staff. They in there today, like, clown. They, 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 they showing this shit. Lane will pull that bitch on the big screen. They like, <laughs> what's going on? Tell us the real story, motherfucker. Like, Shit's going down. They got her Instagram day. pulled up. If she got any bikini pics, like any of that, like, they're gonna be like, so, so you say so you so you hit you hit her, you hit his wife, huh? Because <laughs> right. you got to think at this time in college football, not a lot of players are there. Right, right. Most of the players back at the crib. Summer school's about to end or has ended. You know, July is kind of like the full vacation, you know, month. So uh, if you're gonna do it, this is the right time to do it. Hey, by the way, salute the buddy. Like right now, if you got Instagram, you probably should hit your Instagram. I imagine you might add a million followers if you just say that you're going live. Like let's that's say how it noon, works. Yep. noon tomorrow, that's everybody will be tuned. Or if you all miss, like, hey, okay, Coach Kiffin, um, if I go live right now, we might be able to get some recruits. 
Hey, or you should call Stafford because I know you still got his number and say, how much is it worth to you for me not to go live? <laughs> blackmail? Now, that's blackmail. That's cold blooded. That's cold not, blooded now. Not, not blackmail, just as a, okay, you owe me one because I didn't know you went and sat in the car and hated on me. But like, it's been what, two, 15 years? At some point, oh, you, the, the line is like, all right, I, it's too late now. I learned. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's no, that term no, uh, called in, in, in crime? If it's been too long, then you, you can't get charged statue for it. Limitations. It's statue of no limitations. There's no statute of limitations in simping. <laughs> if you show simping behavior, then you a simp. Yeah, you're right about that. It's unbelievable. All 